I, I guess just kind of what it reminded me of the game in Cleveland, obviously except for the defensive part. What 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 about the way they play? I guess kind of slows things down offensively. For it was, it was us. I think we slowed ourselves down. We were attacking matchups. Uh, we weren't playing side to side. Ball wasn't moving side to side. We played a lot of one on one tonight. Uh, we were trying to attack the matchups, this and that. Uh, so I think we kind of just did it to ourselves tonight. It wasn't more of them. It's always more of what we do, I feel like, from game to game. And um, just this game in particular, um, the scoring's low, but we was playing a lot of one on one. Um, ball went hopping. A lot of guys weren't involved, so that's pretty much sums up the game. And you know, when you play like that, you slip up and lose games, and um, just can't have too much slippage um, coming coming from, um, coming up next tomorrow. Sorry, you'll probably see physical defense like that in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel like you avoid falling into that trap of playing one on one of the ball sticking and stuff like that? Um, I think that you know. Like I said, I don't think it was more of them, it was more of us, man. We calling up matchups, trying to exploit the weak man on on defense with them, and um, got caught up in playing one on one and not making the you know sometimes the right play, the extra pass to the corner or swing, swing to get some rhythm shots um, for guys on the court. Um, but one game can't really just hang your hat on one game in the league. So many games, got a game tomorrow at seven again, so it don't stop. So it's just one game, but. This game in particular, I feel like, you know, we were trying to explore the matchups, which we did, but didn't finish the basket um, once we did that. Uh, I did not get to talk to you the other night, but Doc Rivers is now officially hired as the Milwaukee Bucks head coach. Um, just kind of what's your first reaction to that and thinking about him as, as the new head coach? Um, great voice. Uh, someone, obviously, um, who's had success in this league, who has respect in this league, um, big name coach, top 15 coach all the time, um, can go on and on. but. I uh, feel like he's a great fit. And obviously, his number's in the Raptors here, so, you know, what better team to coach than have your numbers in the Raptors? I mean, that's cool, you know, being be on the sideline and then look up and see your name up there. So, that's dope in itself. So, um, great guy. Um, talked to him today. Um, he's on board with us and know that, you know, the expectations of this team is really high. And uh, I think he's ready for it. What have been your impressions of him just from competing against him over the years, just in terms of what his teams are like? Um, you know, just always um, in the running, man. He always um, is right there um, in the playoffs, um, you know, um, being there, getting there, um, leading guys um, in the right direction. Jen uh, coached for a long, long time. Um, coach, one of my favorite players, Kevin Barnett as well, too. So that's kind of dope and ask some stories and things like that. So I think that's really cool. And you know, played with Ray John Rondo as well when I was with the Bulls, and that was his coach as well. So, um, you know, great guy. Um, like I said, a top 15 coach. And just can't wait to get, get started. Um, obviously, every year in the league is different, man. You go through highs and lows in the season. You might get a new coach. <laughs> You never know what's going to happen in the league, so you just got to stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. What about how this team is playing right now makes you feel like it's going to be a good fit with Doc Rivers? Um, you know, um, it's it's 82 game stretch, man. Um, you know, some days going to be better than others. Uh, you're going to make shots, miss shots, but I think the one thing that has to stay stay the same is the effort that you give on a day-to-day -day basis. That's one thing you can hang your hat on. Uh, I think that's something that we can do more of, and um, it's going to be fun just to get coached by someone who has, you know, something to prove as well. Um, you know, being on the team with, you know, other guys who obviously we all have something to prove and um, not saying we failed over the last couple of years, but we didn't achieve what, what was sought out to be the goal. So um, having a coach that's low key in the same boat as us is great and um, it's refreshing as well to, um, you know, have everybody on the same page and have guys that ultimately have a little, you know, chip on their shoulder and, um, have something to prove. Uh, how weird of an experience was it to be like, oh, we got a game tonight, but oh, also there's a new coach, but he's not coaching tonight. He's gonna coach. <laughs> like to just like go through kind of all of that in, in 24 hours. Yeah, part of being a pro, man, you have to take it with a grain of salt. What's ever thrown at you, you have to be able to adjust really fast. Um, whether you're starting, come off the bench, whether you have a new coach or new adjustments, new schemes, um, new coverages, depending on who you guard. And um, being a pro is tough um, for the regular fan that's out there listening or watching this. Uh, it don't be easy day to day. Uh, you got to lock in. You got to really um, love the game of basketball. So um, 
with us and this group of guys that's in this room makes it easy for you. Um, luckily to have guys on this team that you know want to impact winning and want to win. I think that kind of makes it easier for us and for myself. But uh, it ain't easy. Um, you got to really lock in and do your job and know what you can do to help the team. Giannis had nine assists tonight, a bunch of triple doubles lately. Just what have you kind of seen from him playmaking wise last month or so? Yeah, man, just um, obviously he's a force, averaging 30 points the last couple of seasons, um, can get his own bucket, but um, I think he's kind of manipulating the game a lot more, um, using guys that's around him, getting them shots, um, which is ultimately opening up his driving lanes for him to get to the rim um, easier. So. Um, like what he's done over the last couple of weeks with, you know, kind of kind of manipulating the game a little bit, getting guys open shots, getting guys looks. And once guys are hitting shots, it's like, you know, it's like, you know how it is. Guys don't want to leave their man and now they're hugging. Now it's like one-on-one -on -one at the rim. So um, I like what he's been doing lately and it's been working. And, you know, if I'm open, I wouldn't mind him swinging to me for sure. <laughs> Thank yeah, you very much.